Good afternoon from a very cold and snowy Minsk. Winter has finally arrived and has enveloped us in its icy steel cold grip. Now you've probably been watching the uh, FIFA World Cup coming to you from Qatar. Yes, we've seen quite a lot of action both on and off the pitch. On the pitch we've seen some rather surprising results some um, and of course some amazing goals. Check this one out from uh, uh, Rickarlson against uh, for Brazil against Serbia. Forcing Lazovic back and finding Richarlison! Unbelievable, what an amazing goal that was. And of course, as well as that, we've also seen taking the knee, Germany, and the one love armbands. You gotta love the virtue signaling. I'm not here to talk about the World Cup. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of uh, requests from you guys in relation to the cost of living. How much does it cost to live in Minsk? And if you recall, about three years ago, I actually made such a video uh, about this, where I very briefly covered the topic. So today, I'm going to give you a more in-depth breakdown on the cost of living. Now, it's not actually not actually going to be exact. It's going to be a bit of a, of a rough estimate, as the estimates may vary, all depending on your circumstances and so on. So anyway, when we're talking about living here in Minsk, we need to break down the costs. We have the basic costs with utility bills, and of course we have maintenance bills that we all must pay. So a bit of background information in relation to this. The annual rate of inflation uh, here in Belarus is approximately 17.5%. However, when you look at what's going on within the European Union and the inflation rates in a number of EU states, the actual inflation rate here in Belarus is actually lower, in particular when you compare that to the Baltic republics. Look at the Netherlands. You Dutch bros, you're not far behind us. Okay, so anyway, let's get straight into it, guys. The nitty-gritty on the cost of living. Basic costs. Rent. Of course, you will need to have a roof over your head. This is very, very important. So, when we come to rent, how much does it cost to rent an apartment? There is no exact amount, but if you are going to rent an apartment uh, here in Minsk, Obviously, it depends on location, location, location. The further away you are from the city center, well, the less of the cost it's going to be. So when you add it all up, you come to about a round figure of about $300 a month to rent an apartment. Next is food. We all need food to eat. That's very, very important. So when you go to a supermarket or a market, whatever, and so on, if you grow your own food, it all depends on the places where you go to shop. Some stores might be a bit more, some might be a bit less. But when it comes to your monthly costs, food costs, it can come to about between $250 and $300 a month. Next is transport. Now, if you have been to Belarus, if you have been to Minsk, one thing that will strike you is that public transport here is actually quite good. In fact, I would say that public transport here in Minsk and in Belarus is far superior to what it is back home uh, in Ireland. Our de if you are depending on public transport uh, if in, in Belarus, it's actually not a bad idea. And you can actually survive here without the use of a car. So, at the beginning of every month, I buy a card like this at my local metro station. And, I, of course, I ask for the full package. That's metro, bus, trolleybus and the tram. The full package, transport package, costs me approximately $25 a month. Not bad, a lot cheaper than Dublin. Then it's entertainment. <laughs> Unless you are a complete introvert, you will be spending money on entertainment, going to pubs, clubs, uh, gyms, etc. and so on. So. When you factor in all your entertainment costs, if you go out once or twice a month, obviously you're going to have lower costs than a person who goes out hmm, two or three times a week. So the average cost of entertainment for a month is about 200 to $250 a month. And finally, miscellaneous. Now miscellaneous refers to medical, clothes, internet, phone, etc. So give or take, $100 a month. By the way, folks, this thing still works. It's unbelievable. Millennials, please look away. 
Okay, let's move on then to utility bills. This is where I can give you approximate costs in relation to utility bills. So for electricity, this is how much I pay for electricity every month. Now last month, October, I paid approximately $7. In terms of gas, cooking gas, now I use a gas cooker and a grill. That came to $1. And finally, council tax. Each and every person in this in this country, if you are renting an apartment, you will have to pay the local council tax. It's a tax that you don't have to pay back home in Ireland. However, here you do have to pay a council tax and this goes towards the running of a local municipal uh, council. So for that, I paid last month about, about $15. So when it came to utility bills, that got, got me up to about $22, $23 uh, a month. And finally, communal. So communal refers to maintenance, um, communal heating, garbage, sewerage, TV license, water, and so on. Last month, this came to approximately $33. Now, on the second or third week per month, you will receive what's known as a white document with, 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 the, with all of your maintenance bills actually broken down. So, all in all, give or take, It'll cost you in the region of about nine hundred and a thousand dollars a month to live here uh, in Minsk. Now you'll probably be wondering, hey, why is he spending so much money on food and entertainment? They're not exact costs, okay? They're rough costs, so on and so forth. It all depends on the person, uh, their where they're living, the circumstances, and uh, so on. So I hope this video today has actually answered a lot of your questions and has actually given you uh, a rough idea of how much it costs to live here in Minsk. You could probably get it for a lot lower, give or take. But anyway, guys, if you feel the need to comment, please do so in the box below. Please don't forget to share, like, and to subscribe. So that's it from today, guys. It's a short video and in relation to a lot of your questions that I have been receiving over the last uh, two to three weeks, four weeks or so. So stay tuned for more content and I'll see you guys all later. Take care. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.